What's going on people? Welcome to GBC TV. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the 2018 World Cup. 10 you know, footballers who are most likely to break out, you know what I mean, to be gain no um worldwide no reality and be want, wanted by many top European clubs around the world. Many of them are already in talks with many big European clubs, but this is the chance for those who don't know to actually get familiar with them. You know, for example, going back in the 2014 World Cup, remember, you know what I mean, Colombia did very well, you know, Godardo, and most no, you know what I mean, most notably, the person who was the breakout star of that World Cup was James Rodriguez, earning a big money move from Monaco to Real Madrid. Now he's on loan, you know what I mean, at Bayern Munich, and a deal that probably become permanent, getting a lot of game time, doing very well, getting prepared for the World Cup in 2018. That's and Russia, you know what I mean, for Colombia. Well, this is 10 players who could likely, you know what I mean, do the same and get no reality and actually earn themselves big money moves away from the clubs that they play in now and actually make their nations and their citizens proud. This is in no particular order. First, we got Chucky Luzano. Chucky Luzano, you know what I mean, came and brought up in the Mexican League. You know what I mean, of course, he's a Mexican citizen playing for Mexico. He earned a move to PSV out of you know what I mean, in the Netherlands. The, um, the PSV has basically seen a lot of great players. Van Mister Nistor Roy, you know what I mean, Ronaldo. And none of them had had the legendary start that Chucky had. Just 22 years old, you know, in his 11 matches, first 11 matches, he netted 10 goals. And check this out, the boy is not even a striker. You get what I mean? You know I mean? Look for Chucky to submit himself as one of the stars at the World Cup and beyond. You know, this boy has everything going on to become great. Ars been linked with Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United. You know, a host of bunch of, you know what I mean, top European giants want this boy at their club because that boy been putting in work and making it do what do. You know what I mean? He emerged as one of the next Mexican stars, you know what I mean, of the future. Now, in the future. This Zakaria, you know what I mean, coming out of Switzerland basically transferred from the young boys you know they was in the european league you know young boys to borussia gladbach in the bundesliga you know I me mean? so far he's been following in granny chaka footstep of going to um, borussia gladbach and you know what i mean applying his trade getting better he's basically you know what i mean his physical presence his you know what i mean vision and his willing Next to do stuff on the field will basically make his presence felt at the world cup definitely look for zakaria to be you know what i mean one of the breakout stars at the world cup Kaolinetti, you know, Kaolinetti is basically regarded as the Iniesta in his home country in Poland. Poland is basically coming in as one of the dark horses, you know, alongside Senegal. Poland got a star striker, a balanced midfield. Look for Lenidi, you know what I mean, to he basically make key passes, finding Leondowski for goals, and making, you know what I mean, Poland click. And he's also a con um, contributor defensively, as he, like, I mean, a great defensive player also. All around the top player, you know, to be um, regarded as the Iniesta of your country, you must be a hell of a talent, you know what I mean? Definitely look for Lenny to be one of the breakout stars at the World Cup. Out of Portugal, you know, Transferred to um, PSG in the summer from Benfica. No wonder why Benfica been terrible. I mean, Delos, you know what I mean, Moraes, the goalie, Delos, Quedes, Delos, a whole bunch of people. You know what I mean, Delos, Renato Sanchez, Delos, a whole bunch of talent. But Gonzalo Quedes is basically regarded as like the next Cristiano Ronaldo, being compared to Cristiano Ronaldo. Pulisic, then Billy getting all the attention. But, you know, Quedes is definitely a talent to be working for. This boy got everything in his, you know what I mean, attributes to become a world superstar. You get what I'm saying? This boy basically, you know what I mean? Going to PSG wasn't probably a smart, you know what I mean, move because he, he was going to struggle to get game time. He got a long move to Valencia and I'm sure everybody's seen his talent and see how he's been putting it down. Definitely look for Gonzalo Cuedes, you know what I mean, to become one of the standout players at the 2018 World Cup. Ian Gowitska, Sharky player, Liverpool player, you know, been linked to a host of players, but most notably, you know, Liverpool seems to have a contract in place for the player to um to join them at the end of the season because he's um contract running around but you know a lot of people haven't seen you know the talent of Goretzka you know what I mean but once he moved to the Premier League you're gonna see him week in and week out you're gonna see that you know what I mean if he could stay healthy he'll be one of the Premier League best center midfielders next season I guarantee it Look for him to be one of the standout players for Germany. He already established himself as, you know, I mean, as a starter in Germany, um, in the German national side. So look for him to make a big, big, big impact. Egypt, you know what I mean? Tamir Mohamed. Woo! 
What a talent, you know what I mean? Play a big, uh, you know what I mean, enough role and qualification. I'm not sure he even played that at all. But look for him to get selected when the 2018 World Cup come around for Egypt. And look for him to make a big fucking impact for Egypt. Rodrigo Bentico coming out of Uruguay, Montevideo. You know, Bentico looked like a steal for Juventus, you know. Basically, he was required become part of the Carlos Tevez deal. Remember when Carlos Tevez was playing for Juventus and he wanted to go back to his home country and play for his homeboy club, his childhood club, Boca Junior. You know, he went to Boca Junior, so Juventus had earned the right to Bentacur. Now Bentacur that transferred to Juventus, he's versatile, vision, two-footed, Definitely looking for um look for Bintakor, you know what I mean, to uh, occupy that midfield area. We're alongside with some young brood ones, you know what I mean, great kids that you would go out and have and supply um Suarez and supply Cavani and make that, you know what I mean, you would go out team tick. Definitely looking for Bintakor to be one of the standout players at the 2018 World Cup. Like the Uganda, you know what I mean, born player. Pronish Sisto, you know, earn a move from, you know, earn a move to Celtic Vigo where he's like, his second season. This boy is definitely a beast. His vision, he could also play defense. He could play left wing. He could play, you know what I mean, um, a center attacking mid. He could play center mid. You know, he's definitely, definitely talented. You know, he got a rocket under his foot. Basically, we saw, you know what I mean, every time he's playing Barcelona, he's in Barcelona he basically did well. I think last season they played Bar Celta Vigo played Barcelona and beat the Catalans 4-3 and he was instrumental in that victory for Celta Vigo. And this year we saw them join with Barcelona coming from behind one goal, you know, and we saw him, you know, starting the attack then the ball some way somehow find him, you know, what I mean, after a rebound shot and he netted in the goal scoring. Definitely look for him to be an instrumental instrumental part for Denmark in the center, center attacking middle at the left wing position, you know, while Eriksen occupies the center mid and Christensen occupies the center back position. Ali Reza Sahangbach, you know, from Iran. Shout out to my e Iran, Iran. Sorry for my pronunciation. This is the accent you dig. Feel me? But that boy is definitely a star. You know what I mean? Iron is, is basically coached by Carlos Carroll's. You know, mentality is defense first, but they got two weapons up front that could explode at any time. And Ali Reza. Ali Reza is basically talented, scoring, I think, you know, I mean, 16 goals in total, you know, I mean, for his club. And basically, you know, he didn't play much. He was in a factor at last year World Cup, real, last, last World Cup 2014 around. But they didn't miss him that, you know, I mean, Daddy wasn't even thinking about him. But this World Cup, look for him to shine. Look for him to make an impact at the World Cup, you know. Ali Reza. Look for him to make a comp, you know, an impact at the World Cup. Definitely, you know what I mean, have everything, you know what I mean, in place to be successful. Serbia, you know, Savic. Savic is definitely a beast. The previous coach, you know what I mean, didn't include him in the qualifications or whatnot. We, you know what I mean, a player that's regarded as one of the best center midfielders in the Serie A. Center attacking midfielders in the Serie A. You know, he didn't call him for the Serbian national team. But as soon as he got fired, the new coach called him up and he has submitted himself as a starter and as an instrumental part of the Serbian team. You know, many top European clubs already won by Savic. You know, Manchester United, Liverpool, Ch you name it, they won him. He's versatile, physical, tall. His vision is up to par. Definitely a beast. Look for Savic to be, you know what I mean, one of the standout players or breakout players at the 2018 World Cup Russia. Last but not least, out of Morocco, you know, Amine Arit, you know, very, very talented, gifted footballer. You know, Morocco definitely got a gem in their hands. Definitely have the attributes to come world class, you know. Definitely look for Harit to become one of the best players or breakout players at the World Cup for Morocco. Performing to his standards, you know what I mean, as he should represent the Moroccans. You know what I mean, let's get it, man. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified. You dig that? Ah, uh, that. Ah, uh, that.